evening. This is Dennis Wong coming from Winnipeg. I hope you're having a good week in the middle of the week and uh, you're having some uh, relaxation time at home if you have to still uh, stay at home or if you, you know, going back to work already that I hope that you're getting back into the routine safely. What are you doing about things that you want or your dream or your plan. A lot of us had quite a few weeks of staying home during the COVID-19 uh, social distant time. During that time, what did you do? What dream do you have? And what did you do to work that dream? One of the things that you need is a consistency if you have a big dream and big vision, great. And you know, manifesting about it is great. But as you consciously, uh, you know, walking toward that dream with whatever extra learning, you know, a little bit of extra work, etc., that will be great that you will step by step get to your dream. But if you're only dreaming about it and you're not doing anything, nothing's going to change. For example, for me, the health and mindset, it's a huge thing. So last January, with the health, I decided to do a seven day challenge. And I, for a week, I totally ate clean with vegetables and clean protein shakes and some supplement. For a whole week, I did kind of a protein fast type of thing to clean my system out. And then since then, I've been eating a lot healthier. I've been consciously avoiding junk food, etc., and continue on eating a lot of vegetables and moderate amount of meat and a uh, small amount of carb. I'm very thin and high metabolism, so I need the carb. So I, you know, don't cut it out totally, but I eat very little carb right now. The other thing I've done is that I'm one of those that has a lot of different vision and things that I want to do. And I jump from one to another. So I need to really, really be able to focus and consciously train my mind to stay, uh, stand still at time to be able to concentrate on, you know, the task at work that I need to do. So I've been training myself to be consistent, to do one thing regularly. One of the things that I've done, and many of me, you may notice that I've been doing Facebook Live every day consistently. Facebook Live is one of the things that I am really scared of when I started uh, 330 days ago. I wasn't good at it at all when I turned on the uh, phone to do Facebook Live. Within 10 seconds, I have nothing to say and I will stop it. Now, today is my 330 day consecutive Facebook Live. If I don't feel like doing a day, I feel guilty now. I am subconsciously trained my brain and my system to be the norm that doing Facebook Live every day is my normal life. Without it, it's strange. The same thing. Uh, three months ago, I decided that I need to also help myself, my brain coming down a lot better. So one of the things that I've done is meditation. So every morning, 10 minutes to 15 minutes, depends on how early I can get up, I will do meditation. And I've been doing that meditation every day and this morning was my 91 day straight meditation. I'm not saying you have to do what I do, but when you have a goal, you have a dream, and you have a strong faith, then you need to take action toward that. And I'm doing all of this because one of my big dream, big goal is that I want to have a multiple businesses. I already have multiple businesses. I got pharmacy business, I got nutritional company, I do walnut consultation, but still I feel that I have more energy and more knowledge and I can do more. 
but I need to be able to focus and I need to kind of see what else I can do. There's things that I know I can do, but I'm not 100% sure uh, where I'm going to go or how I'm going to reach people. My goal is to help people uh, to succeed in health and well. So with that, I've been manifesting, I've been uh, having this big dream and saying to myself that by the end of 2020, I'm going to have multiple businesses that I can help many people. And out of that, without, you know, specifically thinking about what other business I can get into, I being actually asked to be facilitator for mastermind group. I've been doing coaching with the Bob Proctor coaches and about a year now and now they feel that I have a strong faith and mindset and consistency that I can be one of their facilitator for the mastermind group. So I'm excited and I feel that this is one of the things that got into my extra business that I've been wanting without knowing it but doing stuff and I did the thing I did for myself and for my, my mindset, but that actually bring on this extra work that I can help people leading the mastermind group. So I'm trying to start the mastermind group first week of June. Uh, it's gonna be small group with a guided uh, structure for 12 week mastermind. So I'm really excited and if Anybody want to know more about it and, you know, interested, personal message me. I can talk to you more. There is presentation also detail about the, what this mastermind group is going to be. So if you're interested, you can attend that uh, webinar also. Let me know. But what you want to do, don't just say it. Don't just sit there. Do something about it. If you need my help, encouragement, PM me. I'm here to talk to you, I'm here to encourage you. And if Mastermind Group's gonna encourage you better, working with you know other entrepreneurs and other people, throwing ideas and you know helping each other out, if that's your thing, definitely let me know. I hope this is valuable information for you. Hi Kevin, this is valuable information for you that I share tonight. And I hope that you will do something with full of faith and believe that you can be something, someone that you want to be. This is Dennis Wong coming from Winnipeg and I'm grateful to serve.